My name is Taiyo Komyoshi, an ordinary second year high school student that can be found anywhere. Oh, Komyoshi, you did well in this national mock exam too. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Okay, I'll keep this up and aim to pass the uni of my first choice. I have a university that I want to attend. This is a special university for me, where my parents, whom I respect, met. My parents run a pub together. My father has management talent, but is taciturn. And my mother has the strength and hospitality that make people happy. We didn't have any luxury, but to this day, we never had to worry about making ends meet. And they tell me that I can go to any university I want. And I want to learn a lot at the university that the two of them studied at. And if an encounter like what they experienced happens to me, my parents are my ideal. Yo, Kamiyoshi, the upcoming final exam. I'll make sure I win this time. He's my classmate, Kataki Enemy. By the way, Kataki also means enemy. Ever since I entered this high school, I have always been at the top of my class. Maybe that's why Enemy reveals his rivalry to me. Wow! Another great result. I'm no longer surprised when Taiyo kun comes in first place. And in the next test, too, I came in first place. <laughs> Thank you. I worked really hard this time, too. It's really amazing. I want you to tutor me next time. I feel happy when my classmates praise me. I'm really happy since I've been studying hard. Then, that guy approached me and spoke to me in a voice filled with hatred. Hey, Komyoji, don't get too cocky. Enemy, I don't think I'm being cocky. Enemy, who was saying that he would win next time, glares at me. Just because you have good grades doesn't mean you have a promising future, right? Girls, you should be careful too. A man's value is how much power he has in the future. Of course, I don't think that grades have a direct connection to my future, but he says this every time after a test. I'm tired of hearing it. Komyoji, what is your parents' job again? Ugh, running an izakaya. I've said it so many times. An enemy who can't win in sports or grace always brings up his family's wealth. And that's right. It's a pub in a humble country town. In comparison, my father is an executive at a prestigious company. I have a better quality of life and upbringing. Don't feel so disappointed. <laughs> I don't. I respect my parents. There's no reason for you to criticize me or them. Hey, enemy. That's so lame. You should stop it. It's so embarrassing to even hear that. The words of our female classmate pierces enemy's heart. Your parents are amazing, but that doesn't mean you are. Don't you realize that Taiyo-kun, who is working hard on his own, is better than you? In this way, Enemy was verbally beaten up by the girls. Unfortunately, I ended up in the same class as him in my third year too, so he haunted me until I graduated. After that, I successfully entered the university of my first choice, living a fulfilling life in a new environment. Damn, you're too smart. The person who is depressed seeing my results is Fuma Izmoya. He's a friend I started hanging out with at uni. I'll definitely beat you by the time I graduate. So please teach me. <laughs> I won't lose either. If you want to study, let's go to my parents' house next time. I want you to try my dad's cooking. Seriously? Okay. I really like your parents' cooking. Wow, I'm hungry. Huma also showed a competitive spirit towards me, but he was different from Kataki enemy in high school. What can I say? He doesn't despise me. So I feel like he's truly a rival. Huma, I'm glad I came to this university and became friends with you. Huh, <laughs> even if you try to bond with me, I will lose. So we came to my parents' house. I came with Huma and another person, Amane Shionagi. Thank you for always being friends with Tayo. Here is some extra. Seriously? Thank you, Mom! Thank you. 
mother-in-law. Oh my. <laughs> I'm happy to have you. Feels like I have another son and daughter. She's the top student in her class. She's a bit cold towards Fuma. According to him, Shionagi is only kind to me. As good rivals, us three get together often. I had been dreaming about the wonderful encounters at university, and was indeed blessed with amazing friends. In the end, I never won against you. What are you talking about? You got a job offer from a top-notch company. You're way more amazing than me. Such a fun college life passed in a blink of an eye. We work at different companies, and on this graduation day, we go our separate ways. You're looking to start your own business someday. That's amazing to me. Thanks to you, my university life was so fun. Kuma, you're being honest for the first time. Tayo-kun, congratulations on your graduation. Ah, oh, Shionagi-san, I couldn't beat you in grace either. Oh man. We had a pretty close race, but she graduated at the top of class in the end. She's beautiful, smart, and talented. For four years, she was set to be the most popular girl in the entire campus. Thanks for the past four years, it was fun! Yeah, if you have any trouble, let me know anytime. I'll help you! Let's get together again. We competed for our grace and worked hard together. Thanks to them, my uni life was very fulfilling. And just like that, the days of our youth as students came to an end. The days after I entered the workforce were rough, and before I knew it, 10 years has already passed. Sorry for the inconvenience. Thank you for doing business with us. Hey, stop talking so formally. But it's work, so it's natural, right? Kuma, who got a job at a top company, and me, who is on the phone as a client. I never thought that I would be able to maintain this connection even after graduating. How have you been lately? Is it a tough these days with more responsibilities? I have less of that than you for sure. But, well, a nipple baby who recently joined is quite problematic. Oh yeah? But if they are young, you should teach them kindly. No, he's the same age as us. Kuma said in a tired voice. What kind of person would cause him trouble? Oh, my bad. I kept complaining. Anyway, let's go drink again. Yeah. I'll hit you up again! Maybe that was Izumoya-kun just now? Shionaki-san, yeah! Amane Shionaki is smiling at me. We both changed jobs after graduation, and now we work at the same workplace. He was recently promoted to manager. It's amazing to be promoted at such a prestigious company. I agree it's frustrating, but his efforts and abilities are genuine. She's competent at work too, and I get a lot of help from her. And actually... Good morning, Tayo-kun. Oh, good morning, Shionagi-san. Ahem. Hello? I'm here too. Are you ignoring me? Wanna fight? During our university days, when Fuma and I were together, Shionagi-san was only kind to me for some reason. At the time, I thought she was being a tsundere because she actually liked Fuma. But it seems like she was just being honest. After we graduated, she came to my parents' pub and asked me out. And now, we're dating. Um, I have something to ask you. Amane uses honorific language to me while working. Her seriousness at work is one of her charms. What happened? Actually, Akeboshi-san from sales came to me crying. It happened during today's lunch break. Thank you for your hard work, Akeboshi-san. What happened? You don't seem to be feeling well. Sh... Shionagi-san! Wow, well, hey, c calm down. I can't, can't breathe. Apparently, something happened when she visited a client. She tried to listen to her, but she just kept crying and couldn't hear the details. Client? If I remember correctly, where she went today was... Do you have time tonight? If Akeboshi-san seems free too, would you and she like to go out for a drink with me? 
the fact that she was crying means that she must have gone through a lot of hardship. I want to hear her story. I thought you would say that. I really love that about you. She said that and smiled, and my heart started pounding. I wonder when I'll get used to her smile. After finishing work, I brought Skiko Akeboshi to my parents' pub. Now I have moved out of my parents' house and live alone. It's been a long time since I've been home. I'm sorry. Even though you're both busy, you still made time for me. It's okay, Akeboshi-san. Amane was also worried about you. It seems that Amane has something to do and will join us later. I decided to listen to her story first. Actually, I have visited this company several times, but today I met this guy for the first time. Hey, you. You don't seem very confident. Maybe you're nervous? Huh? No, I'm not. Well, you're nervous, aren't you? It's okay. Women should do business using... You know what I mean? Easy, right? I don't intend to do that. It was the first time someone said something like that to me, so I didn't know what to say. I'm sorry. I may have offended the client. I looked at Akeboshi-san, who apologized tearfully, and I smiled kindly at her. Akeboshi-san, it's okay. Even if they were angry, I'll do something about it. That's my role as your boss. Amane also mentioned that she will definitely protect her cute junior. You always try so hard, so maybe you were trying to deal with it all by yourself. But we are here for you. Akebo-san, I wonder if she's okay. She was overcome with emotion after that. Looks like she drank too much. Accompanied by my mother, she went to the bathroom crying. Oh, Amane is going to be angry with me. Anyway, she said she met a new guy. Maybe it's the mid-career hire that Fuma was talking about. If that's the case, then I have to keep Fuma posted. I thought about that and waited for the two to return. Then... Whoa, aren't you Komyoji? What? Are you still living at your parents' house? The guy who spotted me and grinned was Kataki Enemy. It's been a long time, hasn't it? I thought you had already moved out by now. Even if you're poor... You shouldn't keep staying at your parents' house, should you? He's still the same disgusting guy. He didn't seem to change in the past decade. I'm just here with my subordinate today. I don't live here. Subordinate, huh? Heh, <laughs> don't try to act cool. Oh yeah, I'm working at a prestigious company now. On the other hand, you. <laughs> I heard at the class reunion. The company you joined. Even though you had such excellent grace, you went to a small company. Today, I had to come here for business drinking, but I saw some good stuff. It seems that enemy has a big misunderstanding. I was so disappointed in him that I didn't even get into the trouble of explaining. Then... Huh? Oh, Taiyo! Long time no see! I mean, we are always on work calls, but... Huma! I'm glad to see you! Huma Izumoya came with some of his subordinates. When they saw me talking friendly with Huma, they gave me a light bow. D director Izumoya, wh why are you so friendly with this dude? This dude? You, you weren't trying to pick a fight with this person, were you? Give me a break. Huh? Enemy? Are you perhaps working for Fuma's company? Yeah, didn't I tell you the other day? He recently joined us mid-career. He's a relative of one of our executives or something. I was surprised that enemy works at the same company as Fuma, and that he was the problematic guy he was talking about. Uh, um, wh what is the relationship between you and this dude? Hey, stop calling him dude. Tayo is my best friend from college. Well, my only best friend and rival. So, what were you doing to my dear friend and the president of our important client? The president This dude? Enemy surprised by the shocking truth. Yes, I left the startup I joined as a new graduate a few years ago. 
I started my own company, and I'm now working hard every day as the president. The information enemy heard was about my previous job. Oh, hey, Komyoji! I never heard that you're the president! Why didn't you tell me? I was about to say it. Uh, that's a lie! Komyoji is the president! Then, I lost again. You know, enemy, I'm not even competing with you. I never even once thought of you as a rival. What? Even though enemy seemed upset by my words, his face turned pale as he felt the anger of Fuma, his boss. Ah, uh, you! Just then, Akiboshi came back from the restroom and shouted loudly. What is it all of a sudden? You surprised me- Oh, you! This is the person who was in charge today! There is no mistake! I was thinking it might have been that problematic guy, but... So you were the one who said something terrible to our Akiboshi today. Judging from the reactions of the two, Enemy was definitely the one in question. Just when I was thinking of asking more questions... Sorry to keep you waiting. Well, Akiboshi-san, are you... okay? Huh? Is something happening? Amane has arrived. She got confused as she saw our situation. Shionage-san, yes, I'm fine, but there's a bit of trouble. Huh? Shionagi? Why are you here? No, no way. Amane, you also knew an enemy? I was surprised at how small the world was, but I decided to explain the details to Fuma and Amane. Then... I can't forgive you. I hate that kind of man the most! Amane glares sharply at enemy. She has always had an extreme dislike for sexist. She must have been exposed to such discrimination herself. Hey, you. This is out of the question. To harass our client like that. You were already never motivated to work and just trying to please the higher-ups. But this time, I can't overlook it. Th th this is a misunderstanding. Uh, um, uh, I was just trying to relieve her nervousness. I wasn't nervous at all, and I told you that back then. Still, you didn't stop, did you? Enemy tries desperately to come up with an excuse. Then, Puma spoke in a cold voice. I'm truly disappointed in you. Don't think you can get away with it. All of our meeting rooms have security cameras. The audio was definitely recorded. We will know right away if we check. Oh, no way! I never thought there was a camera! Daddy never said anything like that! Enemy, holding his head in shock and panic, mumbled something. Wh why can't I win against him? Who grew up in such an old and poor Izakaya? Hey! What did you say? Enough is enough! The moment when Fuma got even more furious. Enemy Kun, was it? My mother came over and spoke quietly. I certainly couldn't let him lead a wealthy life. However, my son learned a lot from us and grew up to be a smart and kind man. Tayo is my proud son! If you hurt my son anymore, I won't forgive you! Enemy remains awkwardly silent as he hears my mother's dignified words. I won't forgive you either, if you insult my love even more! Amane stands alongside my mother and glares sharply at Enemy. M my love What kind of- what kind of relationship do you have with Komyoshi? Huh? I'm Tayo-kun's secretary, and lover. L -l 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 lover N no way That can't be! That Shionagi is Komyoji's lover! Hey, why are you calling me like you know me from earlier? It's creeping me out. Enemy falls to his knees as he finds out that Amane and I are dating and he voices something out very faintly, like an insect that's about to die. What? what are you saying? 
Do you really not remember? Hey, Amane, do you know him? He seems to know you. But who the heck are you? <laughs> enemy finally burns out and turns to ashes when I asked to scatter the remains of enemy. Apparently, enemy and Shionagi were classmates from junior high, and enemy liked Amane one-sidedly. Amane, you don't remember him? Afterwards, the security camera was thoroughly checked, and Akiboshi's testimony was confirmed to be correct. Kataki enemy will be brought to an internal meeting for harassing a woman from another company. His father, who was an executive, became furious at his son's wrongdoing. You! Not only did you end up being a Nepo baby, but you also caused a lot of trouble to so many people! Leave the company now! And as of today, move out of my house too! Got it? It seems that he was the one who was living at his parents' house. Apparently, his father also took responsibility and was demoted. And after that, Enemy cried to her mother, but... Why are you so rotten to the core? I told you not to look down on people so many times, but you... I won't help you anymore. Do something about your own life. Oh no! His mother scolded him, and she made sure his grandparents wouldn't help him either. The fact that I'm the president of a rapidly growing company, and that I am the lover of his first love. There are rumors that he's now wandering somewhere due to the shock of being completely defeated, but only God knows where he is. Mom, I'm sorry. I made a big fuss here. Tell dad that I'm sorry too. At a later date, I called my mother and apologized again for the commotion the other day. It's alright. The regulars were praising you actually. That you've become a cool guy. Oh, stop it. Thanks though, mom. I'll go home soon again. Come back anytime. I'll be waiting with your dad. It's so nice to have a place to go back to whenever I'm tired. Akiboshi-san seems to have recovered from that incident, and is working even harder. I'm glad that my valued employee recovered. Thanks to you too, Amane. After all, my girlfriend is the coolest woman in the world. I'd be happier if you told me I'm cute. It's rare for her to snuggle up to me like this. She's usually cool, so when she does this, my heart can't stop pounding! And... Tsukiko Akiboshi-san, I'm terribly sorry about what our former employee did the other day. How has your work been since then? Oh, thanks to you, everything is going well! Oh, <laughs> that's good to hear. Whenever you visit our office in the future, I'll be the one in charge, please rest assured. Not many people in life that you can call rivals. Being able to meet good rivals like Amane and Fuma has been a great asset in my life. And there are many other important people who support me too. I'm happy to have met so many people I love. I want to live every day without forgetting that. Hi, hi everyone, it's Britney. Ugh, I hate people like Enemy. Kind of fits his name, doesn't it? Anyways, I'm super glad that Akiboshi-san got together in the end. I think it was really cute. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!